first let's um, locate the folder of our car models and here we create a new folder for the body of the car and uh, in this folder we uh, import the GLTF model of the body of the car. Now let's create another, another folder for the wheels. We have uh, two models. One model for the front wheels and another model for the rear wheels. The rear wheels are a little bit larger than the front wheels. And uh, now we can create a new inherited scene for the front wheel. Here it is. And save it. Let's do the same for the rear wheel. Save this model as well, or this scene. And uh, finally, let's create a new inherited scene for the body of the car. Now let's save this scene as well. Okay, now that we have uh, imported our new model, let's have a look at the existing scene for our already existing Monterey. Um, in this scene we can see that we have uh, the body of the car and the wheels and uh, for our new model we don't want to replica replicate all these uh, steps we just um, duplicate this scene and uh, adjust it uh, for our new model first let's change the name our new model is a Guntage and uh, the body of the car is the Countach scene that we, or the Countach body scene that we will uh, place here. The wheels of the Countach are already uh, we have all we have uh, GLTF files uh, or, or scenes for the for the wheels so we delete all the Monterey um, wheels and uh, just drag and drop the Countach wheels to this scene The wheels of the uh, Monterey had uh, camber, as you can see, uh, and for the Countach we uh, want we don't want camber, so let's um, set the angle to zero for all wheels.
now we have to um, reposition the um, the wheels and uh, for that we check in our modeling software where the, uh, we check the position of the wheels and uh, I've already noted uh, the origin and the radius of the uh, wheels and we can use this uh, text file as a reference to reposition the wheels in the Countach. Our new model is uh, ready, so let's um, place it in our start scene. As you can see we have a fog and uh, let's temporarily uh, disable the fog so we have a better view from a distance. Okay, our model is uh, placed in the scene, but uh, it has, or it does not have some um, nodes that the Monterey has, for example, camera target, camera origin, collision shapes, and uh, things like that. And uh, we will just uh, copy them from the Monterey to the um, Countach. Okay, the uh, nodes have been copied. Now we set the player's car. This will be the Countach. And uh, also the camera should uh, follow the Countach. So let's um, set this up. What you cannot see right now is that I'm pressing the accelerator, but the car won't move. And uh, that is because a signal is missing. So let's uh, 
set up the signal somehow the camera node is still um, um, selected and uh, we want um, we want the cone touch to, to be selected so that here in the Monterey we can see that the signal is connected now let's connect the signal of the Countach as well we connect it to the player node and uh, here we in, in our query function we just copy query driver and uh, let's try again sink into the sand a little bit 